Zoe, over here! Crow, and he's with a man. That must be Brian Westhouse. Good afternoon, young lady. Crow here tells me you're a friend of April Ryan. I know her, yeah. I'm Zoe Castillo. Brian Westhouse. You and uh, April had a falling out? Of sorts. Look, I'm sorry, but Crow told me you might be able to help. I might? What is it you need my help with? To get home, I guess. To... Stark. I figured as much. I'm afraid I can't help you with that, Miss Castillo, but I know someone who might. Who? Her name is the White Dragon, and from what I understand, Crow, you know where to find her. I do! I can be of assistance! Yes! Dragon? Like in big, flying, fire-breathing lizard? More like skinny, pretty, with legs to kill for? I don't think she breathes fire, although she can get pretty fired up, if you know what I mean. Anyone? Anyone? Sheesh. So where is she, this, um, this dragon person? In a library. It's where all the hot chicks go, apparently. She's in a place called the Dark People City. If you know how to find it, it moves around with the ocean's currents. But Crow's just been there, haven't you, Crow? Sure have. I spent several months there, learning the ancient art of sitting on my butt. Feathers. And you know how to get back? Sort of. Ish. I know the general direction. I remember the winds. They smelled like cinnamon and rose tea, wrapped in a fragrant bouquet of fresh bull mule excrement. But I can't point it out on a map, because maps just look like a confused monkey scribblings to me. And I won't be able to lead a boat there. The waves make me all sick and disoriented. We won't have to take a boat. We'll fly. Uh-huh. I'll just wait here while the two of you grow some wings, shall I? Where we're going, Crow, we won't be needing wings. I'm telling you, anything that flies without wings can't be trusted. It's against nature, and all that's holy. But hey, no feathers off my bones. If it comes crashing down, I'm not the one who'll be needing wings. Your friend, he'll just lend it to us. He owes me a favor. Besides, in PS, that would be the Northlands Parcel Service has just upgraded their airborne fleet. This baby was one of the first they leased from the Azadi seven years back, and even then, she was getting on. The new ones are faster, bigger, slicker, but she'll do just fine for our purposes. So you're coming with us? Coming with you? <laughs> Wouldn't miss it for the world, Miss Castillo. This is one adventure I'm definitely looking forward to. Besides, you'll need me to fly her for you. She takes some getting used to. I don't know. I still don't trust a bird without wings. I'm keeping my eyes on you, sister. One wrong move, and bam! You'll feel the wrath of my beak. In the name of the goddess and the six, you will lay down your arms and submit to our swords. What? Stay there. Do not make a move. Search the premises. Let no one leave. What in the name of the six is going on? Spare us the theatrics, publican. We know that you shelter rebels. Rebels? Of course not. This is a peaceful and law-abiding establishment. If that is the case, you will receive an official apology and recompense from the office of the emissary. But I'm afraid we cannot take your word for it. The cellar is clear! There's no one else in here, Apostle. I'll take the second floor myself. Is there anything you want to tell us? You're trespassing. Oh! 
Do not make a move, witch. What is your name? I'll give you one last chance to save your neck, witch. You will help me find someone, or you will die. And not just you. We will send the proprietor of this tavern to Sadir to stand trial for treason. As for your friends who've just left harbor, their ship will be boarded and the supplies confiscated. Do you know how the Azadi punish smugglers? Please. Their feet and hands are bound. They are weighed down with metal. And then they are dropped into the ocean. Please, let them be. They carry only medicine and food. I have no quarrel with you or your compatriots. I seek only one person. The one my people call the Scorpion. The... Scorpion? What do you know of him? If I... If I tell you about the Scorpion, will you let us go, Benrime? Me, the shipment? No. But if you lead me to the Scorpion, then yes. I will let you and your friends go. You'll have your food and medicine. Leave the boat be, Azadi. Please, there are no weapons aboard. It poses no harm to your people. It's in your hands now. Very well. I will take you to... to the Scorpion, but only if you give me your word that you will harm no one else. You have my word. May the stars forgive me for what I am about to do.